Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we are getting back into that game that is Winkle J because this game is now fully released, which is amazing. They've got all sorts of new decorations, events, game content, items, even employees for our little shop. So I am so excited to go back into this. Now, as some of you may know, we had a great series before where we made a beautiful shop, technically three shops, but we're gonna start a new shop here and we're gonna do hard mode. So in this mode, we'll have higher debt, less profit from higher quality items. Items are more expensive, slower crafting and less experience and a lower stock capacity. So let's select this and get going. Ooh, what, this is different. Um, I'll do a larger plot. I used up all the space last time. <clears throat> Dear child, this property has been in the family for generations and now it is yours. It would take it would make us proud if you could do what we could not, and that is to clear our family name of debt and return the Koopman name to its former glory. The idea is simple, sell things for more than you bought them for. Then expand and decorate to appeal to more customers. Good luck, we are counting on you, Max Koopman. Well thanks, Max. Alright, and let's randomize a thousand times and five, four, three. Two, one, this is where we stop and random eyes. All right, do I get different shoes? I didn't see this one change at all the entire time. It was weird. Why are those so black? Oh, you know what? Unlockables, I'm sure. Oh, wait, no, back up. Uh, there we go. All right, that's gonna be the one. So, look at her, beautiful. That's She's gonna be the owner of our little shop. So accept the shopkeep and um, no, we'll figure it out ourselves. If you've, if you haven't seen us play, <clears throat> we did a normal playthrough. I do suggest checking it out. The whole series is complete from start to finish in normal mode. And now we're gonna do a hard mode run. We're gonna kind of play it like we know what we're doing. So first things first, let's plop down a counter. I wanna kind of make the shop look a little messy. So I'm gonna put it like at a corner like this. Cause like we're just starting off, right? So I've got that. I'm gonna put a couple tables down. I think just two will be fine to start us off. Okay. And then with that, what we need to do is pick a product. So I'm thinking because in our last playthrough, we did, we started the game with the forge. Then we went on to, on to alchemy. And then we finished off with veg or with um, food, the culinary route. So I want to do a different route. So I'm going to start with shirts. We are going to go into tailoring. I'm just going to buy out all the shirts. So I'm going to buy them, and then we're going to open the shop. Uh, the shop name is going to be um, the little shabby shop. The little shabby. That'll work. The little shabby. And I need to put my shirts on display so people know that this is a clothing store. So what that does for me is it sets our specialization in stone, essentially, because I'm not using multiple products, right? These guys have to buy two things at a time. Oh, that's backwards. I guess I'll flip that around for them so they're not walking back there. I'll take care of that next time. And I'll show you when we get out of the, the regular menu here. But what happens in this game is when you put items on a shelf, or in this case, a table, um, people then expect that type of product. So if I had started this game by putting down shirts and an apple, people are gonna come here looking for clothing and for food. Now, that sounds great, right? But that means I'll always have to have both of those items available at any given time. Or if I'm run out of stock of them, people will ask me for them. But because I'm only gonna do tailoring to start off, that's my only shop specialization, which is clothing. So that's all they're gonna ask for because at the moment, because of how early in the game are and how low our level is, that's all we can offer. So I'm gonna buy that. Yep, that's it. These guys are great. The merchants that come in, if you haven't played yet, uh, you usually can find some great discounts through them. Buying through the shop here, which we like we did in the beginning, it's like it's like going to Walmart. Like you get a shit deal. Those guys come in, and that's like Amazon coming and delivering you shit. You get a nice discount. All right, let's close the shop up. So you can see, like the markups are huge, right? So we don't want to buy from there if we don't have to. I got 11 shirts, so we're still looking pretty good. Place a so you get some objectives over here. So we want to sell 50 items, and we want to get a pallet to increase our shop size. I also want to turn this around. Like I said, I want a little crooked, make it look like you know a rundown shop, like that. All right, let's buy some stuff. So I need a pallet. 
So I'll take this pallet and I'll just flop it down like in the back corner. Like, you know, we're like a messy shop, right? Cool, that's done. Let's get some decorations here as well so we can get our appeal up. Um, the rock, ooh. Ah, not bad, honestly. I could spend 90 bucks for 150 appeal. Or 80 bucks for 120. 80 bucks for 120. Yeah, this is a good deal. Let's get this. Oh, man, that is a large rock. These are new, too, by the way. These weren't in the game before. I'm going to put this large rock outside. There we go. Level 2 appeal. All right. Let's open the shop. So, and then, obviously, appeal does what it sounds like. It attracts more customers so, they, so more people will come and more people want to buy. And I think it also increases, potentially, how much they buy from you. But right now, I only have two shirts up, so that's as much as they can really buy. And it is spring right now, so you can see here, spring when you click on this event. Uh, flowers start to bloom, increased tool prices, and food becomes cheaper. So, so that's what spring does for you. So, like, if you want to start off the best way and you don't know what you want to specialize as, that might be a, that's an easier way to start because you're already going to get some increased bonuses for that. Just pick the shirt. I have, we have two items in stock, and it's the same exact item. Stop being a dink and just buy the stuff. All right, I've got five extra shirts, so seven, two on display. Oh, perfect. Shirts are on sale. Uh, I don't have enough money, so I'm just going to... Oh, hold on. I can get her... Mm. Nope, she's not going to buy in time. Hold on. Wait for it. Boom! Got it. Buy it all out. Buy it. Ooh. Put shirts down. What's up, Glorious? Glorious. What's what's up, Gorgeous? Gorgeous Marion. Boop. Mm. Boop. I like how I just like creep here, like, hey, you buying shit? If not, get the hell out. So you can also see here our debt is due in, f in three days, so we got to pay that by the end of that day. So let's do... Oh, I want to show you the specialization. So you can click this little coggy thing here and show you some stats, right? So we can see our unlock. So if like I want to see what the next wall is, uh, it's stucco and brick available at level nine. The, the other one after that is uh, where to go right here red brick at 16 you can come over here crafting stations um, crafting skill points one available zero so it doesn't tell us when we get our first skill point I think it's level five though and then obviously we get like some different counters in here there's a lot more new ones in here that didn't exist before though and all sorts of different shelves storage capacities decorations signage and floor tiles so we got all sorts of cool stuff that are coming our way so i got that i don't think i care about anything here Ooh, wool is now available so we're, get, we're getting close it's freezing outside and people are looking to buy clothes and fuel to stay warm they will pay handsomely that's great so that's an event uh this event is called frost so that means you can see here the intensity of the event you can also you don't see it there but for these short events you can see here day one it's rising and getting to the peak. It's going to stay that way for two days. On the fourth day, it's going to be slowly decreasing. By the fifth day, it'll be almost back to normal, essentially. So uh, people are going to pay more for clothes. But that also means clothes cost more. So if we can't get our merchant boy here to uh, come in with a good discount for us, we're going to have to buy them from Walmart for a stupid expensive price. So I'd rather Amazon come in so I don't have to go to Walmart. I want the wholesale price, not the not the ripoff. New furniture unlock because we leveled up. We can see I have a new quest available. Uh, increase my appeal by placing decorations. So I need to place one more to complete that quest, which is great. If I click on the objectives here, you can see what you get from it. So, so sell items. I will get a reward of 60 silver for selling 50 items. Survivor, it doesn't say anything, doesn't say. Next is decoration two. So, you know, some of these are just kind of like helpful things to like get you kind of moving in the game too. So look, nothing. None of those are useful. Get out of here. You've disappointed me and your family. Your children will always remember this shame. Welcome to sh the shabby shop, to the little shabby. Good old classic lemonade to drink. All right, close the shop. No one else is coming. It's the end of the day. 
So, and what I said by that is you can see here, like, wool's up 40% and shirts are up 29%. So, you can see there's an extra three three silver here to purchase the item and making it a, a, um, a purchase price of nine and they'll sell for 11, so. So you still get profit, but I'll pay this now so I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> so we've paid our first day of debt or our first round of debt. The next debt will be due in six days, so they increase exponentially as the days go. So you, like we saw the first one was 50, the next one's 60. Welcome, thank you for the for buying my shirts. So tomorrow I'll buy a decoration, hopefully, to get that quest complete. Ooh, our shop reached level five. At level five, you received a crafting skill point. You can spend the skill point to unlock the menu. So I don't think I can do it now. Oh, I can. So here you can choose any one of these. Oh, maybe not the planters, I guess. Oh, large planter, objective industrial farmer, huge planter, large planter, and planters. Okay. Gardener. Oh, okay. So you have to start off and get the new planters. I don't remember that being a thing. Actually, no, I do. So we got the alchemy table. We got the stove, the tailoring machine, and the forge. So we're going to go with the tailoring machine. Unlock this. Yep. And then we can place this. It's going to cost us 50. So I can't do it today. It gives me an appeal of 10. So that'll actually, I think that'll count as my decoration too. We got, ah, see, he's got shirts, but they're up 57%. But look, I've only got six shirts left too. But you know what I do see here? Cotton. I'm going to buy it all. So I'm we're gonna we're gonna buy this cotton and we're gonna make our own shirts for tomorrow. I don't know what else we need, but I assume because it's our first item, right? I assume we only need cotton. What's up, Mar Marion? You really like to buy my shirts. I appreciate you. Your business is always welcome here. I just need you to buy two shirts and leave. You're not nearly as beautiful as Marion. Thank you. Appreciate you. See you later. Goodbye. Don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. Pretty sure we're done for the day, but I'll give it a second to see if anyone else wants to come. No. See, no one's really coming, so. Close it up. All right, shop saved. Look at that. New day, new me. So let's buy our first crafting station. So we'll put down our tailoring station. Right. <laughs> there. Got it. So, and, no, it didn't count as a decoration. So let's plop a quick decoration down. I think I'm just going to do, that's 95. That's expensive. I just want something cheap. Uh, like this, this tree stump. I'll put the tree stump on this side. Perfect. And I got a peel level up out of that. So that was actually really useful. So let's close that menu down. So here you can see, this is the crafting menu. So these are the future items we'll get. And you get them based off of using or making other items in this tier. So as we get our experience up with the shirt, we'll get a new thing that'll tell us like, um, here, hold on, maybe see it here. Uh, objectives, crafting, uh, no. So it'll probably tell me after this. So let's just craft these up. Twelve of those. So, and then this is how it works. And you can see this is the tier rate of it. So because of my level of my shirt and also the crafting station level, it'll it'll reflect the change in what kind of quality items we can make. So this is the lowest quality. It's like poor, I think. So this is the crap stuff, right? 95% chance. And then it's hard to see, but that's a, yep, that's a white color and it's a common chance to, it's a chance to get a common item, right? So if we look at our items here, you can see we've got 12 of this quality, so I get a minus one penalty for it. And I've got two at this quality, so I actually just, it's a, it's a no penalty. It's just completely neutral. So that's the downside for when you first start crafting. You might lose a little, well, you won't ever lose money, but you'll get a little uh, deficit on it because it's not as good as a quality. So let me do, not a build. Let me buy, um, let's get some shell. I'll get a shell right here too. Put that there. And it's because I got a window here. So if I do this, actually build this, just put a wall here. Got it. Yep, accept the changes. I want to put that there. I don't think I can get another one on the other wall, but oh, I'm broke anyway, so it's fine. I'm going to put the good shirt up there. Oh, oh, it's a double shelf. Double shelf. Beautiful. So now we've got four sitting there. Open the shop.
Welcome to the shabby, to the shabby, the little shabby. I'm shabby. I'll be a little. Oh, this is exciting. I've been waiting for this game. I'm just so happy it's here. And it was very good timing too, because as some of you know, who's been, who follows me a lot in the discord and everything, which is down below, uh, my PC crapped the bed and something was wrong with it. it. Ended up being a corrupt SSD, but because of that, I was down and out for the count for a little while, but we're back, baby. And just in time for our Friday Icarus stream as well, too. We didn't miss that. I'll get the VOD up. I got to get the VOD up from the previous stream as well. Uh, unfortunately, that was when my computer crapped out, like just before I could get the VOD rendered and ready to get published out for you guys. So it's a little delayed. So I'm sorry for that. For those of you on my YouTube who are a fan of my Icarus series, but don't make it over for the Twitch stream, I will be getting those out to you shortly. For now, we're managing a shop. So like you can see here, craft shirts. So let me check that out. So customer is king. Get customers to a maximum opinion rating. Cool. Um, where is it? That's the seller thing. Beginner tailor. So you can see here, craft shirts, and then it's gonna unlock clog. So that probably means we'll have to start buying wood, which means I'm gonna need to get more storage so I can just have better capacities and all, all sorts of like standard store stuff, right? So end of every day, you know, I bought some wool, which is fantastic. Gonna, how many did I need? 12, eight more shirts. So let's just build the eight first. I like to just do the bare minimum so I can see what the next um, item will be, right? So I've got 91% for a crap item and a 9% for common. Just changed to 89 and 11. So that's great. So now we can see we've got clogs available. <clears throat> I need two pieces of wood to make clogs. Wood is pretty cheap. And the clogs are selling for about 17 right now with a bonus, obviously. But so if I, I will, I do want to get some clogs. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make four of them. So I'm going to, well, three of them. I'm going to buy six wood, even though I'm, I got to buy it at Walmart. And I'm just going to do it because I want to get them in the shop. Thank you. And I'm going to change these out for clogs. Because now that they're available, they will start asking for them. So I just want to put them out anyways. Oh, I should have made more shirts, but it actually didn't. Ma it doesn't really matter. There you go. Buy all the good stuff. And I can, I can make clogs during the day, too. So hopefully he has some wood for me. What do you got? So he's selling clogs, but not for a good price. Shirts are pretty basic, so I am going to pick those up. Ooh, look at this. Hold on. We got to... I need him to... Uh... Okay, so I'm just going to put shirts down here, right? Just so... Because if they're on your tables, they don't count as in your stock for your warehouse. So, like, this guy wants clogs, so I need wood. So I am going to buy um, just two, two wood. I'm going to get the rest in wool because it's so cheap right now. Buy that. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make this man his clogs. And time moves slowly, so you can still do this during the game. J just know that the game is still moving. It's like you can see here, like even though I didn't have shoes on on sale like this guy's gonna ask for him too i'm gonna have to tell him to kick rocks in a second here hold on let's see if i can get lucky let's buy two wood and let's see if the wood will show up before this guy wants his clogs yeah it does he's right there i love that thank you i'll buy i'll make one pair of clogs for this man and then i'll sell his clogs and send him on his way there's no one else coming we'll shut the shop down for a day we got 170 coin good job everybody proud of all of you let's buy a trash can we need a trash can to throw things away so if like i end up having too many things actually you know what let's scratch that for a second let's think like a like a smarty here we, we need to buy storage so i'm gonna get things for storage so for 75 coin i can get 10 so that's seven and a half coin for storage that's more expensive but it has some appeal but it's also on a shelf same with that and then this is eight. So that's, oh no, this, oh, this is the cupboard. Uh, 12 storage. That's pretty decent. And it has some appeal. 
Um, is that better? Um, hold on. I wonder. Did the quick math in my head. This is like almost nine gold to storage, so this is still better for the value. So I'm gonna take it, even though, yeah, I get a little bit of a peel out of the other stuff, but it's not worth uh, the cost right now for me. What I care about right now is min-maxing my stuff. Uh, the mirror, all that does besides give us a peel, it also lets us change our outfit if we want to. So I've got, I'm going to just make more shirt because it's still part of the missions and I just want to move the product out of my hands and turn them into something else we can use. As you can see, I still have the, uh, you know, craft 36 shirts. But now you can see because of my level, uh, we have a 95% for a common shirt and a 5% for an uncommon. I don't know if we got one. We didn't. But now we're not doing crap anymore at least. So that's fantastic. Let's open the shop. I forgot to buy wood. Oh, I don't. Oh, I do have plenty of stuff. So let me let me get my boy in here, and I'll just buy four pieces of wood for a rip off here. And he he'll show up in a second. I'll make I'll make two sets of clogs. I bet she's gonna ask for them. See, like it's the game's still moving when you do this. It just goes super slow motion. Might as well pause the game. See, sell clogs. Uh, I'm going to put the shoe here. <laughs> See, she took the clogs. Hopefully he has some wood for me. So clogs are 11%, so that's not terrible. Oh, but wood's super cheap. Yep, so I'm taking all eight of those. Wood is, or wool is also super cheap, so I'm going to take all of those. And um, I am going to just the last inventory slot I have available. I'm going to buy a pair of clogs. Even though they're up 11%, I can still sell them for profit. Did I? I thought I bought the clogs, but maybe maybe I mis misclicked. It's all right. I'll make four sets of shoes real quick. Got him. So we got two pairs of shoes down now. I do, I need to get more wood though. But we're hurting for it. Do furniture unlocks with crafting shirts, clogs, get customer maximum team trading up, which is just by having the products that they want and keeping them happy. Um, experience events, we haven't experienced other events yet. Uh, poor decorations increase the total amount of item spots in your store by placing displays. I don't care about that, really. That's uh, not what we're after. I want money. So we we owe 60 bucks in two days, so we can still maximize here. So what I want to do is I've got 20 shirts and a bunch of wool still, so I'm going to go clogs. Um, if I can make nine more clogs, I'll le we'll level up, right? So let's grab our wood. I'm just going to take take 10 wood. I'm going to turn those into clogs. And then what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to keep buying as much wood as, until I run out of space. Right? So like, it's two at a time, so now I can go buy six more wood. So I'm going to go buy the wood. And make some more Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Actually, what I want to do first, I'm going to make... Actually, no. I don't know what our next item is, so I'm going to save that wool. So I need to make one more clog, which is perfect, because I can go over here. Oh wait, am I... What? Oh, I don't have the cash. Okay, so let's just start the next day. We're out of money. So I just need to make one more pair of clogs, and that should give us a new recipe, perhaps? Um, Get a shoemaker. Yep, we'll unlock leather and open up shoes. So we'll need to um, start buying. So now we'll have three products to be owning on to, plus three finished products. Three resources, three products. Wool, leather, and wood for the shoes, leather shoes, and then shirts. And we'll ma be making all that stuff. So it just keeps growing exponentially, which is why it's fun. So looks like this will be the next item. See, look, we're already almost getting low on shoes. We've got four left. Merchants here, though. What do you got? Well, he's got shirts on sale, wood for a standard price, and wool for cheap. I've got plenty of wool, so I'm going to buy that wood, but I'm going to wait at six, seven. I'm going to wait until... He, I always wait until he's at the last second, so I have 
one more inventory space available from people buying stuff and taking their money, but also because of the extra cash we'll have. So I'm not going to get that last lady, so I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to take... So like these are pretty cheap, um, but I want to craft. So it's, it's the same thing to me almost. So I'm just going to take all the wood because I care about crafting. So I want to hit... Actually, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want anyone to potentially ask me to make them a leather shoe today. <laughs> That's not how I want this day to go. Yeah, guys, if you're loving Winkle J, the little shop, and you're loving this hard mode run, make sure you smash that like button down below. Let me know if you've seen my previous series as well, or if you're new here. I'd love to hear about both. And if you're loving it, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well, so you do get back here for that sweet, shabby content. All right, let's do it. Let's hit the clogs. Bam. Sent it. And now we've got leather shoes available. So I need leather and wool. Ah, see. I'm going to buy three pieces of leather. It's pretty expensive. And I'm going to make three leather shoes. We can see here, these sell for 29 a pop. A value of 19 selling for 29 which is great stuff. Great stuff all around. And I'm going to make some more clogs now. Because I only have... A couple clogs. I think three leather shoes might honestly be enough. So, and we're gonna owe 60 bucks in debt today. I'm gonna pay that at the end of the day, I think. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go clogs and leather shoes like that. I'm, that's how we're gonna send our day. I'm gonna pay now. So that way, when the merchant comes, I can just pay all my debt. Or I can buy whatever I want and not have to worry about paying my debt for the day. That's how I like to do it. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. You just gotta make sure not to overspend. Or else you'll really screw the pooch. That's not the greatest thing to do. But you can see, like, as as you get higher tier items, they're not gonna be as sought after, but they'll be worth a lot more money, of course. So you do keep a stock, but you usually keep a bigger stock of lesser value items. Right, what do you got? He's got shirts for expensive. Ooh, these shoes are on sale, baby. We're gonna take all of those and wood and wool are also on sale actually so i'll probably just take the wood and the wool and make them because i care more about crafting the leveling is so much more worth it than just buying a regular quality shoe because as we get better we can be making higher quality shoes so on that note the wool is the cheapest so i'm gonna grab i've got a bunch of it actually already so let's just bring me there and i'll take i'll take 11 of those buy it i need to get we need more storage that's a really big thing here buying the leather shoes though baby but you see like we're, we're selling like we sold all of our clogs almost and flying through shirts too but the leather shoes we had three and we've got one left so we sold two for the day which is great still still great stuff so i'm gonna put that down and let's see Crafting shirts is still up there. I don't need more shirts. I do need more clogs. I'm going to buy like, four more clogs. Just to keep stock. And then I'm going to buy enough leather for this. So, Oh, actually, I can make two clogs. I, for some reason, I thought the, the shoes took wood, too. So I can use all my wood for the clogs, which is fantastic. And then let's grab some leather. Uh, how many more do I need to make for the thing? Craft shoes of flame. Or, okay, so leather. Nine will work. That's all I got room for, and I don't have much more money anyway, so. Wood's just more of a pain in the ass for us right now because we don't have the storage space for it all. Excellent. And... And I think that'll be good there. And let's do one more day. Yep, so we've got enough 72 bucks to do in a day. And then we gotta start expanding our floor out floor plan a little bit so we can get a little bit more floor space to be working with. But I'm liking our little shabby look right now. It's looking fantastic. I hope you like it too. Obviously, and I want to make this like a, I don't know if like realism is a good word, but let's say like a role play basically. I want it to start off as like a very shabby looking shop and then I want it to expand 
into something amazing and glorious. And in our instance, it'll become the best tailor shop in the world. So uh, we've got, so you can start seeing some uncommon quality stuff that's coming in here too now. But we got shirts. They're not on sale. They're higher priced. I've got plenty of shirts. Everything else is useless to me. Dismiss. See you later. Get out of my house. Bye. So long. Hello, Beatrice. Dude, white as hell. Well, the shoes are moving pretty decently. We make we we make good money today. This is pretty much all profit. I think we had what like thirty coin when we started. We didn't get a second merchant though, which is sad. I'm gonna wait a second just to see if he shows up, but I don't think he's going to. No, he's not. It's a sad day. All right, close the shop. All right. But another successful day we need i don't need to buy anything else i think we're good to start the next day we've got a fair bit of stock here so i don't need to stop at walmart to really increase our stock and pay for more i just gotta hope that we get some good merchants in for the day so we can get more items and on the more items note let's grab a some more pallets here uh these long pallets are actually really nice so i'm gonna go like this uh delete wait a bit i know there's a button for it uh sell Remember, everything sells for what you buy it for, so you don't waste your money when you do this. And I'm over encumbered now because I have more items than I have floor space for, so it's like in my pocket, kind of, in a weird way. But that's all right, so we're going to plop that down, and I'm going to plop that down. And now we've got 55, so we, I have some more floor space, which is fantastic. And that's it for today. So I hope you guys love this. I'm going to end this here. I thought this was a great little first look. Really get you get you riled up for this. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you found this episode. If you're new here, I'm trying to see if you want to play this game yourself, and I hope you do pick it up. It's a really good game, and I like I've made it to the end when the alpha was out and the early access, and I really enjoyed it. And if you're still not sure, go back and check out those videos. I'll put the first episode up at the end of this but all right guys like i always say if you're loving it smash that like tell me how you're doing in your games or how i'm doing in mine in the comments below and if you're new hit that subscribe button as well so you do get back here for that sweet shabby content but all right guys as usual this has been shabby do you know what the rest of your day is not too shabby